Right, now I've applied a bit of effects to the to the text, you know, itself, which is if you go back, okay, go back and active view, so you can see the text has got like some background to it, you know. So, let's go to our text here and change the outline, you know, to black, a bit darker, you know, and go to the other text as well and change it to darker back, uh, outline, you know. Alright, let's select the basic text here and control D or edit duplicate from here. Let's solo this layer first and I'll show you how it works. Okay, now let's go and turn off the fill color, you know. Like this, you turn off the fill color and let's go and change, you know, the outline text and change it, you know, the size, you know, you can make it bigger and then turn on the other text as well so let's bring it down under the other text so that we have a background and let's apply a filter to it which is um, gradient type gradient here for color gradient, you know so this is how the text looks like okay, you go back to character and you can change the size, you know adjust it, you know, accordingly and the four color gradient is here, you know, you can change the positions of the colors if you like, like that, you know by changing these handles right, so now if you see the animation so it looks cool okay, at the moment the animation is, you know, coming very fast so let's see, press U on your keyboard so we want it to come fast and then come and land slowly for that you select this a keyframe here for basic text and right click keyframe assistant if you can't see then easy ease you know press U and do the same for this keyframe assistance right click keyframe assistance and easy ease now it will land you know slowly basically the animation will be smooth see okay now we apply filters to it we we'll apply a lens flare the new solid and apply and call it lens flare and make it black color press OK and come to effects and presets again and type lens and bring up lens flare so just drop it on top of the lens flare layer so you can't see at the moment what we're going to do is we'll we go to normal mode and change it to add so now if you change the handle, you know, will change the lens flare. So the brightness can be fixed from here, and let's say you can also change 35 and 105, you know. So you've got all the options here. So now let's see, we want to animate it with the with the text. So for example, bring it here. We want our animation of the lens flare to start from here, so and also bring it on top of our text, you know. And right now you can't see the handle. You can only see it if you click here. You can see the handle now. Move it outside the screen. Right, so right now it's outside the screen. Here somewhere. And put a keyframe from flare, you know, center. Press U, and you can see the keyframe here. And it comes here, press U as well from here, so that we know where the, the animation of the text ends. And we want our lens flare animation end there as well press lens flare again and let's say it comes here but when it comes here you want it to die you know the lens flare so go to frame 0 here first frame you know where the animation starts and brightness let's increase it you know and put a keyframe for brightness press U there's a keyframe for brightness and it comes here somewhere here and change this to zero so it dies you know so the lens flare you know we like this and also but when it comes here we loses the intensity so if we move the lens flare here it, it keeps its intensity so it's still brighter so by the time it reaches here it it dies you know
So save your work and RAM preview, see how it looks. So that's how it's going to look. Right. The next step is let's apply another lens flare, which is manually, you know, I've created in Photoshop. And uh, it's the same, you know, PNG that I imported earlier. This is lens flare 1. So I, I'm going to show you how to import that. Okay, let's go and import our files and the lens flares. Let's go to File, Import, File, and you locate your folder, you know, wherever it is the files are. And this is lens flare 1. Open. So our flare 1 is here. Similarly, you import the other one, lens stripe, you know. I'm going to delete it because we have already got it here. So let's go and bring our lens flare. And just move it, you know, here somewhere. And also you can scale it down, press S. You can scale it down from here as well. And also press Add for the mode, you know, so it's more brighter. And let's bring the stripe as well. And also change the mode to add. And bring it here, you know, in the middle. And scale it down a little bit. Let's go and start it from here, both of them, you know, they start from here. Okay, the stripe, you know, let's go and attach the stripe, you know, to the lens flare. So whenever we move the lens flare, the stripe goes with it. So control Z. Right, and let's say, and we'll apply a small expression, you know, so that the, the lens flare flickers. You press Alt on your keyboard, scale, and click here on the stopwatch, and write an expression, wiggle, one comma five so this will you know if you solo it you know and you'll see so it's basically kind of moving you know because of this effect let's bring this down you know stripe press arrow key on your keyboard and you can you know move it you know and centralize it unsolo the layers save your work as well so let's say it's here and we see the car coming in. You want the lens flare to move a little bit. Press P on your keyboard and put a keyframe, you know, at frame zero, let's say it's you know out of the screen here somewhere. And press P and at frame, you know, ten seconds, let's say it's here somewhere. So if you ran preview it you'll see, you know. Well, I mean, actually, let's speed it up. You know, when it comes here, you know, when the text comes here, I want this, you know, uh, to be here somewhere, you know. So we've got like three keyframes now. So it comes faster and then it slows down. Right, so we got our lens flare out of the way as well. Let's see what's the next step. Go to final, you know, 